buddy Reaper here on the road and uh, talked to Big Rich this morning. He's feeling better. Yeah, I'm sure you guys all saw his video that came out. And I talked to him, so it was good. Even Mara got sick. A lot of people have been getting sick, so I'm staying away right now. But I am headed to Columbus. I do have my own rescue to pick up in Columbus. Should take me, I should get down there about 2.30. Uh, and that is the puffer fish that was donated by O'Brien when we went down to Kevin's last week, uh, to, not, well, last week, the week before in Columbus and picked up all those tanks. Uh, and he met us there and gave Hoover and I a hand. So he's donating a little saltwater puffer. He's got the tank, everything. So Reaper's headed down there to pick this thing up and we'll see how that goes. I'll, I'll keep you guys informed. All right, everybody, Reaper here. Made it down to O'Brien's place. And look, everybody. Look at that cute little puffer. How cool is that? <laughs> Reaper is going to finally get a little puffer. Okay. I guess there's a, com a couple of common plecos about six to eight inches long. I'm going to be taking back as well. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get some of this water into the five gallon, get them put in there, and uh, try and get this done as quick as possible. We do have a storm coming today here in Ohio, but look at how cute he is. Oh, what are you guys feeding them? Snails and uh, stuff? And pest snails, uh, frozen blood worms, shrimp, uh, busted open clams. Really? And it tears up the snails? Oh, yes. Because I got an overabundance of snails and we were oh, wondering yeah. what we were going to do with them. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> yeah. Have you tried to like feed them with tweezers or anything like that? Uh, or? No, I did I made a mistake and tried to feed it with my hands. <laughs> and I got a hold of the tip of my finger. And did it? it? Oh, yeah. Really? I bet that was smart. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll get some water and get a bucket and we'll get this process going here. And, and what's the reason I'm getting him again? Because you needed a puffer. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's a good reason. All right. All right, so I asked him if there's a heater because I didn't see one and look, it's a nice tank. If this all comes out, it's all your bio filters. Your pops mm -hmm. over here. All right, and now how do i go about taking care of this guy you said it's salt water so it is salt water all right how am i gonna that's right here that's mm -hmm. how your parameters you want it from zero to one at a high level zero to six okay zero to one yep anything zero, two, from i believe it's 14 to 20 is brackish uh, and then from 21 up uh, is salt water, but uh, it should be between 26 on a high and 21 on the low. Okay, and you just dip that in to yeah, test it just... then? Because and... I've never done salt, so. There's a little line, like literally right here. And then you just. And the needle will drop right back down to show where it's at, which it's a little high now. But. Now. And so then, how often do you add, or? Uh, every time, like, I'll fill it up to right here. Okay. And then I'll let it drain down, which I already drained out, like, three gallons or something earlier. But, yeah, as soon as it starts dropping down, like, below these lines right here, just add some to it. And what kind of salt are you adding to this? Uh, I got the whole bag right here. Ah. Uh. It's the Coralite sand, or Coralite salt. Mm -hmm. Oh, and these it's, are the Pleckos already? Okay. Mm -hmm. The Instant Ocean. Mm -hmm. Because I was doing uh, coral, and, or not just the, the cor different corals, the LPs right. and everything, but it was tearing up all the coral I stuck in there. 
Now, say it does get low and I need to add, how much do I add? Uh, it tells you on the bag, but okay. I want to say it's uh total for the whole 15 gallons. I was using three and a half scoops. Okay. I got the little high scoop right here. Okay. So just three of these. Three and a half of them. Mm -hmm. I definitely read the bag and what you got over there then? Oh, Tetras, there's a Sedonis, a couple little albino bristle noses. Mm -hmm. uh, there's three peacock eels in there, some betas. A little bit of everything. Yeah, that's my son's tank. Oh, it looks nice. It's been going three years now. Really? And all I do is add water to it. I've never had to do a water change. Really? Really. There's In three no years? Over three years. I just add water to it. But literally, the water don't stink. It's. And do we have a turtle or something? Uh, a bearded. Right there oh. on the back wall, he climbs. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Bearded dragon. Look at that. Awesome. How long you had him? What, a couple months? Yeah, we rescued him. Oh, really? A the rescue? We had two of them that big in a five gallon tank. Oh, man. And Both? I, she's like, well, if somebody <laughs> would just give me a tank, they could have the other one. And I said, well, I got a 55 gallon that's cracked. Come get it. Right, perfect. <laughs> so she came and got the 55 and gave me him. Which is vicious. He'll eat your freaking fingers off. And did I bring my hose in? Your hose, yeah. It's right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and. Get some water in here and we'll get going. Okay. Awesome. And I've just been informed there's a remote for this sucker. Look at this. Yeah, that's the rain mode. Rain mode? Rain really? Night mode. Uh -huh. You got your daytime mode. Then it does like, you kick that off, it'll go red, orange, yellow, pink, blues. Oh, so you can do coral in here, probably. Yeah, that's what it's designed for. Oh, how yeah, it's interesting. A tank set up. But puffers don't like coral, do they? No. They eat it. Yeah. Uh, that's why there's no <laughs> coral. Okay, okay, makes sense. Yeah. But and then you right. can change like if you want it bright or you want it dim. Oh, so hum. And how long have you had them? Um, about six, eight months. Really? No idea if it's a male or female? No, RMS didn't tell me. Okay. Oh, that's where you got them, RMS. Yeah. Okay. Because they were supposed to have uh, the figure eight puffers. And I drove all the way up there and they didn't have no figure eights. They only had the spotted puffers. This is what he is, a spotted yeah. puffer then? And how big will he get then? Maybe four inches. Oh, perfect. Awesome. All right, all right, let's get the water in there. Yeah. All right, so yep, I hooked up with O'Brien and came down here. Big Rich is still kind of under the weather, but he's doing much better. But just staying away from there right now. Uh, Dawn doesn't even know I'm down in Columbus. <laughs> but she's going to find out when she watches and views this, but I don't think there'll be a problem. That's because I took my car and, you know, it's, not in the best shape. It's got a bad tire on the back, but I made it down, no problem. So we're draining the water out. We'll get them in there, and then we'll get this out. I got a place in the back seat for this, and in the front seat, I'm going to tie him into the seat belt, and we can get these guys home. Any White Castles around? Really? <laughs> Three minutes. <laughs> yeah, I got to get a White Castle while That's I'm down I here. Her. I was like, we were eating a White Castle this morning. Really? Like the crash site went there. And I was like, man, Reaper's going to want White Castle. Then he texted me like, there's White Castles, right? I like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I figured there was. Definitely going to have to hit them up. All right, these guys will get to OFR. I don't know, I'll see if Don wants one for the 125. We'll see. All right, O'Brien's got most of the water out. We uh, got what we wanted in here. And the little puffer's already in there. Got the... Uh, piece of coral out and now we're just going to empty the rest of this here and get everything loaded up and so far the weather is cooperating so I should get home just in time before the storm hits 
All right, so thank you, sir. We got the uh, tank loaded up. Uh, we got the puffer in there. We got the two common plecos in there. Salts in the back, the meter. Got everything we need, a pad for it and everything. So uh, I'm going to be heading back. It looks like it's just starting to try to snow a little bit. But uh, thank you again, sir, very thank much. You. And uh, keep your eyes open. This will come out tomorrow, probably. Okay. <laughs> right. And uh, <clears throat> you'll see your little puffer get home to my place and get set up and That's good. where it's going to be. And then I got to post and try and figure out if it's a male or a female, see if we can do that. And then from there, we'll find her a name or him. <laughs> but again, thank you very much, no man. Appreciate it. I'm about a half hour away from home. It has started to snow a little bit, but not too bad. Everybody doing good. So almost there. No problem. Now, went ahead. I'm gonna do it over here where the uh, call the Cam uh, Camille was set up, or a uh, null was set up. I got the tank, I had to level it a little bit. Now we'll get that water from in here, from him, put back into here, and then we'll get it hooked up. And I'll have to make my first batch of salt water and get it going. And I have the instrument he gave me to measure it. So let's get this going. All right, I got the little guy putting back into his uh, tank. We got that much water. I made up a batch the way I was told to. I use that thing for testing. I know where it's at, and I tested the water that he came in already. I just want to get it heated up. It's getting kind of cold. I just want him to make it. <laughs> Come on, little dude. You got to make it. You're my first little puffer. All right. Still working on getting it set up and all. Uh, but I, I threw a couple little snails in there and look at her or him. I'm not sure yet but That's a good sign. That's a good sign. That means it's not stressed out And I've been reading up and they're pretty uh, Pretty uh, sturdy little creatures. So hopefully I'm doing this right because this is the salt water And I believe I got it right. I got it right within the parameters that I was supposed to but yeah, there's a couple little clams in there, or clams, a couple little snails, two different types. Those little like trumpet ones and a couple of uh, the uh, round ones or common ones, escargot kite type. <laughs> but no, that's a good sign. He or she seems to be doing good. So that's good. Need a lot of work, got to clean it up, still filling it up, working on it. All right, so I got the tank filled up. And uh, I got it the way it's supposed to be, and she seems to be happy, or he. Uh, I went ahead and threw some little uh, snails in there, and she chomped them up. So she seems to be content. Uh, so we'll leave her be for this evening, and hopefully the clan tank should clear up. I just finished doing the last bit of water adding to it. So we'll see how this thing works, and we'll see how it goes. But... Um, it's a good model. Uh, it's a flow valve. He still had the box for it and everything. So, looked like a nice setup actually. So, we're going to go with it and see how it does. Doug did come with that remote control to do all the various, you know, night, day, thunderstorms, colors, the whole work. And, you know, turn it up and down. So, looks really nice. So, we're going to give it a go. <laughs> Hopefully I can keep my first uh, salt water uh, puffer here. Now, I don't know if it's a male or a female. I don't know how to tell the difference. Got to figure that out. Once we figure out if it's, uh, you know, a male or female, then I'll go about naming it. Uh, puffer fish. They're actually called green puffer fishes as well. A couple other names. Because I told Don, man, he is green, and he is when he comes close, he's pretty green. So we'll see how this works out. But Reaper got his puffer fish. All right, hope everybody enjoyed the video. I had a pretty good time. Yeah, my tank's doing good. There's my the other uh, crayfish. I finally seen him today. He was up in here, and uh, back there he is. You can barely see him. And then on the other side over here is he shed himself because he was getting green. I wasn't sure he was going to make it, but everybody's doing good. I got three kinds of mosses going in here because I got the bunch from uh, 
and some plants from uh, <clears throat> Eric and these guys are doing good and I put a, most of his plants in here it's hard to tell it's dark and the uh, two uh, plecos that I picked up from uh, Columbus from O'Brien I stuck them in here so they're in here with a bubbler going right now and they should be fine until I can get them back at OFR so everything went good my puffer seems to be doing good uh, ate a couple of snails tonight and uh, I'm just going to leave it be for tonight and I'll check on him in the morning and we'll see how it does but Reaper's got his first puffer fish so it was great I love it and <laughs> Don and I said no more tanks, so we're up to, uh, we got the, uh, the bow front in front, and then we got the 55, and then we got the 125, we're not doing anything but plants and things like that in the 40, and now we got that nice 15, salt water, salt water, <laughs> unbelievable, mm -hmm. MTS for sure, alright everybody, you guys stay fishy my friends, hit that like uh, hit the like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and we will go deeper with the Reaper.